Hello, welcome to the World Cafe Podcast. This podcast has been designed with curated content that centers on the power of words. Can we really do anything without speaking? Can we really do anything without the agency of words? Yes, that is what this podcast is all about. And I am your host, Amakri Isogwe, your neighborhood word trader. I believe in the power of words, for it is the unit of creation. I trade in words to profit my world. Pattern power. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> You're wondering why I started the show uh, with that. Mm, I'll tell you, I'll let you in. How are you doing? How's your day been? All right, you know how we say it when we come into the yes studio when we get behind the microphone you know to talk to you and share with you good morning good afternoon good evening good everything how are you doing i know you are doing great why because you're here listening to me (laughs) yes why i started with that line there was this animation i used to see years ago with my children, Pad and Power. Yes, the set of uh, uh, characters, they scream Pad and Power, and they do things in pattern, you know, like square, 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 and they go triangle, triangle, triangle. I think in all to teach children pattern. So, what are we doing today? You're asking yourself, well, what are we going to talk about today? Yes, I want to talk about habits. <laughs> yes, habits and where they come from. Mm, you're wondering, habits and where they come from. So habits, they have a dwelling place or something, or they have uh, a storehouse or a warehouse where they are locked up and released. Well, you will know. And there's something about habits that follows a pattern. You know, habits follow a pattern. This has been with me for a while. When I mean a while, I mean a long while. But recently, I went for, I went for, uh, what do you want to call it? A retreat. Yes, an online retreat that was organized by uh, my mentor, Eladro Toy. Yes. And in course of the retreat, he touched on something that struck a chord within me that had to do with it habits and I just went back pondering and was like whoa so all of this that I've been thinking about you know chewing over the years and what have you he just gave like said something and everything came together and I'm going to share with you yes habits habits where did they come from where do habits come from? You know the way we do it. I like to approach this subject from, first of all, looking at the word habits and drawing out of it another word that I see, habitat. Or I say, I look at habits, drawing out that word, I repeat again, habitat. More or less for me, it's like habit comes from habitat. But before I do that, I'll take you on a little sto- I mean, story. We'll look at some definitions, some uh, descriptions. Then we go into my thoughts about habits and where they come from. Yes. The word habitat is simply an area or region where a plant or animal naturally grows or lives. Yes, originally a technical term in Latin, Latin text and English, flora, fauna, literally it inhabits. You know, when for those of us that did biology in school, you, you, you'll understand this better. So the word habitat. That is it, you know. Over the years, it has evolved. 
and somehow we now come to see it as a dwelling place yes like a place where you dwell in but from this you clearly see where it, i mean the meaning then the word habits you know from the early 13th century characteristic attire of the religious or clerical order you heard me <laughs> from old french habit or habit clothing ecclesiastical you know how they conduct themselves and all that so also from latin habitus condition demeanor appearance dress originally passed you know participle of habire to have hold possess wear find oneself be situated consider so you come to see that these words have evolved over time and now we come to see them as you know maybe a dwelling place or something that forms our character our attitude that your habit we're still wondering where we're going with this thought don't worry follow me we'll get there we will get there now from the two words we've looked at you come to see something design yes creation design creation and i would like us to go back to the creation story then we'll begin to appreciate yes where habits come from <laughs> all right when you go back to the creation story from genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 there's something you're going to notice you know when god was created he started with a pattern yes more or less a habit now the first when he started that first step ended with evening and morning was the first day follow my thoughts now the second day evening and morning second day so he kept creating you see the pattern there he kept creating he kept creating he kept creating within the framework of what we call day more or less time but he created i think that was a uh, hold on i need to get the exact verse if you look at verse 14 you know when he created the light and the firmament of the heavens and divide the day from the night and let you know them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years take that again let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years and he made two great lights the greater light to rule mark that word to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night now these lights were created to rule to rule more or less to like our sort themselves over the day now when i go back to my physics elementary physics class looking at creation you know in my early days there was this uh man Carl Sagan i think that's his name who talked about the cosmos he had this what i call it sweet knowledge about the cosmos whenever he comes on to talk about the cosmos i just sit down and i watch him you know uh, those of us who grew up in the early should i say 80s late 90s you must have come across him if you were really interested in such topics he talked about you know the cosmos nebula you know uh milky way the giants as in red giants white giants that's talking about the stars now how they govern the seasons and all that you know so now seeing this scripture i go back to those uh documentaries and i play them over and over again and yes 
making sense to me. <laughs> yes, making sense to me. But again, this takes me back to my elementary physics class. Time and seasons. Yes, we're talking about habits. Where habits come from. Times and seasons are functions of, or rather seasons, days, time, are functions of time itself. From the scriptures we just read now, he said, evening and morning made one day. Now we have come to like, see that this design or pattern is divided into 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours. But now in my physics class, I was made to understand from one of the laws of motion, one of the Newtonian laws, that we have two forces. Yes, the earth goes about its axis. Yeah. And at the same time, the earth goes around the sun. So the movement of the earth around its axis forms a day, 24 hours. And the same movement around the sun forms, that's 365 days, the earth goes, you know, moves around the sun. And this movement brings about the seasons and the times. But now, something so fascinating, when I go back to that class, it tells me that there are these forces that counteract, interact to keep the earth where it ought to be. They are called the centripetal and the centrifugal force or forces. You know, when I hear those names, they sound like twin brothers who are in a fight. One is pulling outwards, the other is pulling inwards to bring the balance, I mean, to bring a balance to the earth. So now, these movements create a pattern that everything that is on the surface of the earth or inhabits the earth come to have habits. <laughs> Are you following my thought now? They come to have habits responding to the movement of the earth, following a pattern. My thinking is this, the movement of the earth that is balanced by the centripetal and centrifugal forces, they are like providing energy to the earth. Like the earth has this portal that these forces introduces energy and everything that follows that pattern all of a sudden you know automatically comes to have a habit. Yes, a habit. So now imagine you're you, you, you decide to wake up at a particular time every day. At that particular time when the earth rotates, so to say, and gets to that point, you do that once, twice. All of a sudden, the earth is at your disposal. See, there's one thing. Whether you want to accept it or not, like we <laughs> We, 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 we talked about it in our physics class. Gravity is real. Your being conscious of it or not being conscious of it does not deny or negate its presence and power around you. But your being conscious of it, it's like making it work for you, taking advantage of it. So you create a pattern. So even when you are not disciplined enough to create a regimen around your life according to the seasons and times, you have in, I mean, somehow created another pattern for yourself. 
that gives you a negative result ah yes look at the lives of the creatives look at the lives of those people who are into creating stuff ask them they follow a pattern there's every likelihood you see that they wake up at a particular time every day i'll give you one example jesus he wakes up every morning at a particular time to pray <laughs> yes what about the story of daniel a pattern waking up at a particular time to pray so the earth has been designed to operate in a pattern that forges a habit that all of us who dwell or inhabit we are by the reason of our inhabitation from habits yes you heard me from habits and these habits control everything about us when we wake up when we sleep where we where we live following my thought now and you patterns we are products of our habits our habits are as a result of the earth responding to divinity is the law yes so when you see things happen things don't just happen people make them happen they create a habit they create a habit you know in our physics class how I, I, I was made to understand that the earth moves and everything on the earth also moves but this movement is made possible by the force of inertia you know inertia sounds like somebody's name ine asha you know like those names those our big aunties you know who are heavily endowed and when you see them they either make you run or they make you stand <laughs> that's the way it sounds to me so we are on a continuous movement yes you may say i don't feel it you do feel it just that you're not aware of it how do you mean the pursuit you wake up in the morning you move literally the earth is moving literally you're also moving you're chasing purpose and all that but listen this movement are governed by these laws so when you are conscious of it they walk in your favor not against you for you power and power so you can actually change your future you can actually change your story how patterns central peter and central fuga and inasha they are all at your disposal so all you have to do is to take advantage of them <laughs> oh my i know that was how it came to me like ah yes you can all right guys you know how we do it here at the cafe we come in to lean on one another to get encouraged and move on to do things got to go now till i come your way again bye for now yeah beautiful before we sign off i just want to encourage you 
Yeah, it's been a wonderful time. And also, I'd like to hear from you your feedback. You know, you've been listening to the World Cafe podcast. I would love to hear from you the feedback. If you have any questions, yeah, you go ahead and ask those questions. You can reach me at my email address, amakri garibaldi at gmail.com. Amakri is A M A C H R O double E G A R I B A L D I at gmail.com. Yeah, and uh, we'll get back. You know how we do it on the show. Thank you. Part for time it has been with you on the Word Cafe podcast today. Thank you for being there. You can catch me up on my social media handles, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all at Amakri Isoboye. Also, you can get copies of my books, a cocktail of words, the color of words, and my HR notebook on Amazon and on Robin Heights online bookstores. You can also subscribe to my YouTube page at the same address. Yes, till we see you again. Bye for now.